Hello, welcome to the Math 135 video for points on graphs. The intensity of this video is mild. My name is Professor Michael Polyuk. The learning objectives for this video are, by the end of this video, you should be able to identify when a point is on a graph, and you should be able to give a rough sketch of an implicit function by taking sample points. Our motivation is, what does the graph of x squared plus y squared all squared equals 2 times x squared minus y squared look like. This curve is called a lemniscate. So we're going to look at that particular function for that particular curve, and the techniques that we develop will also be applied to lots of other functions like this, lots of other curves that look like this. So our first example is the point 0, 0 is on the graph of this equation. And we know this because if you plug in x equals 0 and y equals 0, you get an equality. So let's compute the left hand and the right hand side and see that they're actually equal. The left hand side, if you plug in 0, outputs 0. The right hand side, if you plug in 0, also gives you 0. So together, we know that for x, y is the point 0, 0, we have this equality. Therefore, 0, 0 is on the curve. Let's look at a second example. The point x equals 1, y equals square root of square root of 5 minus 2 is on the graph of the lemniscate. Let's check that. So the left hand side, if you plug in this x and y values, gives you this kind of horrible thing. The inner square roots will cancel. And then you can expand this out and you'll eventually get 5 minus 2 times root 5 plus 1. Okay, now let's check the right-hand side. So the right-hand side, when you plug in the x and y value as they are, again, the square root and the square will cancel. And then you can expand out and factor, or expand out and distribute, I should say. And eventually this gives us 6 minus 2 root 5. Are these two things the same? Yeah, we can see that if we move this plus 1 into the 5, they really are the same. So for this x, y value, we have that the left and right hand sides are the same, so this point is on the graph of the lemniscate. Let's look at a third and final example. The point 1, 1 is not on this graph. How would you show that it's not on the graph? Well, the left-hand side, if we plug in the x and y values, outputs 4. What does the right-hand do? The right-hand side, if you plug in the values, will output 0. So because 4 is not the same as 0, this point won't be on the graph of the lemniscate. So together, this tells us what we need to know about when are points on graphs. The idea is that a point AB will be on the graph of the lemniscate if and only if it satisfies the equation. So when you plug in A and B, you get a quality here. And if you plug in A and B and they're not equal, then it's not on the graph. So two questions now are, how do we actually visualize the full lemniscate? And another very reasonable question is, how did I find that y equals square root square root 5 minus 2 for x equals 1? It sort of came out of nowhere, right? So let's look at that. Let's first concentrate on where this square root square root came from. If we plug in x equals 1, then what happens to the formula of the lemniscate? Well, we get 1 plus y squared all squared equals 2 times 1 minus y squared. Let's see if we can figure out what y is from this equation. We expand everything out, and then move everything to one side, and now we have y to the 4 plus 4y squared minus 1 equals 0. Do you know how to isolate for y now? Well, in this case, we can use the quadratic formula. 
And if you use the quadratic formula, you get that y squared is this. You should check it on your own. Make sure I didn't make a computation error. So then this lets us solve for y by taking the square root. So y is going to be plus or minus the square root of square root of 5 minus 2. And you might be wondering, wait, hold on a second. Where did this plus or minus go? How come it just turned into a plus? Well, we threw away the negative root. Can you think of why we threw that away? Now let's also go back to the original question. The question was, if x is equal to 1, how come y equals this thing is on the graph? Well, what this tells us is that not only is the positive root on the graph, the negative root is also on the graph. So we actually have more information. So we actually determined that 1 minus square root square root 5 minus 2 will be on the lemniscate as well. Let's ask a similar question. What are the x-intercepts of the lemniscate? So what does an x-intercept mean? It means where is the place where y equals 0? So we can solve a similar, uh, or use a similar strategy to what we just did. By plugging in y equals 0, we get that the formula simplifies to this thing. x to the 4 equals 2x squared. Again, grouping the terms on one side, factoring, and now we can read off what are the values of x. Well, x is either 0 or it's plus or minus root 2. So this gives us three x-intercepts. So root 2, 0, minus 2 root 0, and 0, 0 will all be on the lemniscate. So here's our story so far. Here are the three x-intercepts, and here's the x equals 1 and those weird roots. So this gives us a partial picture of what the lemniscate looks like. How do you think you could figure out what the full lemniscate looks like? Well, let me leave you with some exercises that will help you with that. For x equals 1, Find the y values such that minus 1y is on the lemniscate. For x equals 1 half, find the y values that will make 0.5y on the lemniscate. Show that if x is greater than root 2, then there's no y value that makes xy on the lemniscate. And then finally, by finding as many other points on the lemniscate as you need, draw a picture of it. Here's a sample test question. By plotting as many points as you need, Draw a picture of x squared plus y squared all squared equals 2 y squared minus x squared. Do not use a graphing program for this question. Note that this is similar to, but not exactly the same as, the lemniscate. And now let's end with some reflection. How do you know how many points to plot before you are confident with your picture? What does the word lemniscate even mean? What would you call the graph? So if you had the choice, what would you call the graph of the lemniscate instead? Is it possible to solve for y equals f of x in the lemniscate? Thank you very much and have a great day.